I'm John Gregg, your certified financial planner. Today's video, we're gonna talk about how much money you actually need to retire. And although there isn't an exact number, obviously for every person, there are commonalities in the process and steps that you need to take in order to find out your number. The first thing that you need to talk about is your lifestyle. So when we talk about lifestyle, we're talking about where you want to live, how often you want to vacation or dine out, what are your hobbies? For me, I love just putzing around in the garden and that's a pretty cheap hobby. If you love to golf or your wine connoisseur, that's a hobby that's gonna cost you a little bit more money. Also decide whether or not there are potentially some dependents you're gonna have, either parents, uh, somebody older, uh, maybe children that are still dependent upon you. These are expenses that can really add up over time. The next piece are your essential expenses. And when we talk about these, they're pretty obvious. It's your housing, your food, healthcare, and healthcare is something that is going to most likely grow over time. So you really need to account for that. And then groceries, bills like water, electrical, cell phone. Discretionary is going to be really kind of your lifestyle. So you kind of want to add what you were thinking about in that first step and add them into discretionary spending. And then you have one-time costs. Maybe you wanna do a remodel or buy a new car or put a grandkid or child through college. These are very expensive and you need to account for them. On top of all that, there's inflation. So typically we're running about two and a half percent. Right now, inflation's running wild but it should come back over you know, the long haul. Typically you're averaging two or 3%. So you need to account for that as well. Now that we've gone through the expenses, let's talk about income. We have annuities, we have pension, we have rental income, and we have social security. So your job is to go to ssa.gov if you haven't already done it to see what your benefit is going to be and it might surprise you. It typically adds up and there's a lot, it makes up a much more significant chunk of a person or, or couple's retirement plan than they probably anticipated before they started the actual planning process. So now that we've gone kind of through, you've taken inventory of your expenses, you've taken inventory of your income, you need to now look at the retirement gap. And that retirement gap is really what's going to come out of your uh, savings, like your 401k, your IRA, any trust account, any money or stocks or mutual funds or bonds that you've saved up now that you're going to have to unwind and start using to fill in that retirement gap. And a good rule of thumb, and there's going to be a lot of people that argue both ways, is the 4% rule. And the 4% rule really is, is as simple as you can pull out 4% per year of the amount of money you've saved. So if you've saved a million dollars, then you could pull out around $40,000 per year. Now, this isn't set in stone. This is not a perfect uh, equation, but as you, let's, let's take a step back. If you're 65 when you retire, most likely you need to plan for about 30 years of retirement income. If you're pulling 4% in the beginning, that's great. If you only have 10 years left, maybe you're 85, maybe you can start pulling 10%. So it kind of depends on where you sit, but when you're planning from the get-go, 4% rule is a really good rule to follow. And once you go through and you've really taken inventory of your expenses, your income, how much you're gonna to need to pull from your investment accounts, now it's really just monitoring and adjusting and making sure each year you sit down either by yourself or with your spouse, preferably, and discuss whether or not you're on track. And this is what we always do with our clients, right? Making sure that we're on track. There's a lot of variables that you can't dive into in this short of a video, but inflation's a big one. We kind of mentioned it quickly. Um, there's also investment returns, which is can play a huge, huge part if, if you have a big dip and you're not managing that properly. And then, you know, you could just have 
those emergencies that happen, right? Maybe there's a sickness or maybe there's a natural disaster. There's always something that life is going to throw at you. So making sure you're sitting down and you're just having that conversation once a year is really going to be beneficial. So let's review kind of what we went over really quickly. Um, the first one is your having that discuss, discussion about your retirement lifestyle. Um, the second is going through those retirement expenses and actually writing them down so you have get a really good idea of how much money you're gonna need to spend. Then we're talking about your retirement income. Where's it gonna come from? Going to ssa.gov and figuring out that number. And then uh, going through that equation of um, anticipating your retirement gap and then going through the 4% rule and figuring out how much money you're gonna need to actually withdraw from your savings. And one thing I didn't mention, which is really important, is whether that 4% is coming from a taxable or non-taxable source. So I have some other videos about that. But if you're pulling 4% from a trust compared to 4% from a 401k or an IRA, those monies are taxed totally different. So the money coming out of the IRA is taxed as ordinary income. So you're gonna need more money. So don't let that throw a wrench in what we just discussed, but it is something to have in the back of your mind. So hopefully this uh, at least helped you get started and got the ball, ball rolling. We need to be having those conversations. You need to be doing the planning. And if you want to reach out and work with us, we'd love to have an introductory call with you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please subscribe to our channel. It's really important and helps us get this content out to more people. Enjoy the disclosures and I'll see you around during our next video.